apropos. Gonna have to talk a little loudly. Uh, because I'm near the freeway. I cross two fences to get here. I'm deeply trespassing. There's no way to accidentally get to this spot. Well, I like your name, apropos of wet snow. Kind of reminds me of Narnia. The, uh, you know, Narnia was going through a transition uh, from uh, winter to summer. Well, you know, it was cyclical. And uh, I imagine the transition from uh, the, the end of the evil witch's uh, reign and to where uh, Aslan came into power, um, maybe the seasons. Uh, well, I imagine in between that was uh, something to do with wet snow. The, the, the intermission. Uh, the transition. Apropos, do you know uh, do you know malt liquor? Let me grab one. This is a Mickey's. It's a fine malt liquor. Ah, oh, tastes like freedom. Well, apropos, you asked me a question, and uh, yours caught my fancy, so yours will be the first I answer in video form. Though I recommend that uh, anyone else who has yet to ask me a question, uh, the only way you're going to break my walls now, and the only way I'll get comfortable with, you know, answering questions, is, uh, is through practice. So apropos, uh, you asked two questions, which is cheating. Uh, so I'll either ask you two questions or uh, I'll ask you one big one. Um, the first question was, how do I like your mustache? It looks great. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta focus though. It looks like what you're growing is like a, a kind of a mustache. It's just growing out of your face, and uh, that's not how Chuck Norris grows a mustache. Um, you gotta focus, and it won't feel like you're doing anything, and that's why a lot of people stop. You just gotta keep focusing until you actually feel mustache growing happening. It's a conscious effort. Mm. Oh, yes. Drinking a, a, Mixie, a, a Mickey's Grenade, uh, which has a, uh, a puzzler in the cap. It's pitch black out here. I don't know if you can see me. You just might be able to hear me. Uh, the second question regarding my beard. Now my beard just now came in. I'm, uh, I just turned 43 just a couple days ago. And uh, all my life, occasionally I try it, you know, as, as guys do. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe three years ago, um, I just couldn't be bothered. I don't know where I didn't know where my razor was. Maybe I was out of power in the in the tiny house. I, I used to pirate electricity. I'd go to uh, coffee shops and even work, and charge up all my uh, all my things that needed batteries, needed charging, and then I'd take them back to the tiny house and, and live off it and pretend I was off the grid. So my beard came in nice and sweet. And actually, uh, I read some things on beards. Uh, I went to a coffee shop called uh, The Bipartisan, and it had all these different uh, presidents on the walls with their awesome, awesome beards. And um, I looked at all those beards, and I thought, hey, which one of those should I have if I could grow one? And uh, so, But I went with a villain from RoboCop. That's where the beard came from. RoboCop. Hmm. 
So the beard came in real nice, and an interesting thing happens, and this happens all the time, uh, though I don't often pick up on it. Um, a woman came out to meet me uh, at my work, and uh, we're co-workers, but I'd, I'd never seen her before. Uh, we might have worked together for years, never seen her. But she'd heard about me. She heard about this guy growing a grizzly beard. Because I had read uh, online, while I was doing my research, uh, that you're not supposed to cut your beard until it grows out. Then you trim it back. Uh, that way it's uniform, I don't know. And uh, so everyone's watching this beard just get out of hand. And that very night, I had trimmed it. I trimmed it back, and it was looking, it was looking good. Uh, it was looking Grizzly Adams good. And not Chuck Norris good. And uh, she came out and said, Oh, you're the guy growing the beard, but, but you did <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to last. But she's like, oh, but you do trim it, don't you? Uh, except she didn't finish that sentence. Um, she got uh, part of the way through that sentence, and then she stopped. And uh, but you know, I I, I got the uh, the gist. There's something around here. Maybe somebody else is trespassing. Um, but anyway, my beard. Uh, what I've always wanted is to be a, uh, a cool old guy. And thank God that's what I've always wanted because uh, I think that's the only thing I have a chance of being. You know, like, when you're younger you have all these different ideas of what you'd like and what's possible. Um, But I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it's a difficult uh, call to make on what's possible. And uh, I always wanted to be a you know a cool old guy. And so when I grew the beard out, and a little bit of gray started to appear in it, and I thought, oh my gosh, it's the very start. It's I'm I'm being born. And uh, and from now on, uh, I'm taking my steps, and every step's important. And up until then, I hadn't felt it. I hadn't felt that until I grew a beard and uh, I saw gray in it. I'm on my way to being a cool old guy. Um, so I wanted to, and this, this is one of my steps, answering questions. Uh, that annoys people that I don't like to answer questions. Um, and, but there's more to it than that. Uh, you know, fashioning yourself as, as a tool to interact with reality. Uh, and also as a way to make yourself feel more comfortable with yourself. Uh, and, uh, and the beard's part of how I'm going about it. It, uh, it represents uh, uh, age and uh, duration and, uh, I don't know, a start. It feels like a new chapter. It feels like at this point in time I've got a basis for, uh, of experience. And based on that, now at 43, just happy birthday, Uh, and based on everything up until now, I could actually just get a start. And so, yeah, this is me. This is me starting out, trespassing, uh, drinking malt liquor, and smoking a cigar. So, uh, my questions for you, apropos, is, uh, is the following. <laughs> now, you said that uh, you wish you were a people person. And it seems, you seem very uh, personable. Um, but say you're not a people person. Uh, why would you want to be one? I mean, I already, I've already told you my take on, uh, on uh, what, I, what I perceive of you. And so I'm wondering why you want to add that. Um, what is a people person uh, and why do you want to be one? And uh, what would that add to your life that's not there now? So that's my question to you. Seeing the tubes.